So welcome everybody to our Monday night wellness call. Tonight we're talking female hormones. Um, last week we talked on emotional health. If you haven't had a chance to listen to that recording, um, I think it's very helpful. Um, just gave some of my top tips for, um, yeah, healthy emotional processing and um all sorts of tips, not just oils, but of course we did talk about a couple of protocols. Um, tonight we're talking female hormones and next week we're talking male hormones. So hi, my sister Harmony just jumped on and hi, Louise. Good to see y'all's faces. Did I? Yes, I am recording. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do, it's so funny. I was thinking earlier, when is the last time I did a hormones class? I knew it was recently. So it was right before I gave birth to harvest. And it was part of this like four-part series I had done called um, Empowered Journey to Motherhood. Let me see if I can pull it up. Um, and so anyway, I was super pregnant. It was like early August. And I kid you not, that class was three hours long. <laughs> it was a three-hour hormone class. Let me see if I can find it. I, it is, it's so, uh, packed full of really great information, but I was like laughing, like how on earth am I supposed to go from that to a 20 minute talk tonight? So just so you know, this is how you can find it. If you are looking for this super intensive hormone class, um, it's me and my friend Garen, who is, a an RN out in California. And we, we poured our heart and soul into this entire series, but this is called understanding your hormones. And it goes through the entire endocrine system geared towards women, um, in depth, like menstrual cycle, the hormone pathway. We went through basically like a toxin live doc, toxin free living class with, um, what are your most common hormone disruptors? And then all sorts of natural ways to support home and hormones, including food and um, not just like supplements and oils, but of course we went into that. And then we ended with a bunch of resources and diagnostic tools for really looking at your hormones. And we, we shared so much. So I had to plug that because tonight is 20 minutes long. So if you're looking for something really in depth after this, go to my website, it's reachfortheapex.com. And then you click shop and then you'll see that there is a, it's a bundle right here called empowered journey to motherhood. If I click that, you can see the very first one is understanding your hormones. Okay. So I had to show that. So as I switch over my screen, can y'all see that how it says progestins plus? Yeah. Okay. So here's going to be the plan tonight for the next 15 to 20 minutes is, you know, there's a lot of things out there that we can do to help support and balance our hormones. What I wanted to do was pick what I believe are just the most popular, the ones that I hear the most testimonies from, the most practical for the most people, um, a, a handful, just a few supplements and a few oils for the sake of time. So um, like usual, you know, it's not going to be your in-depth training. That's why I wanted to plug that other hormone class. Um, but I am going to at least cover a good bit of products. And hopefully there's something that, you know, rings for you tonight that might sound like a really good fit and something that could help you if you're looking for something specific. So we're just going to run through these one at a time. And I'm just going to show the, the products there on the Young Living website. So um, do you know that synthetic hormones and uh, things... I'll just say it like this. Synthetic hormones can cause problems. Um, there is a scary disease that a lot of us are, um, you know, we know a lot of people who have been affected by it and there are definitely links to synthetic hormones causing those things. Um, nothing that I'm mentioning tonight is synthetic, nothing, no synthetic hormones in anything at all that I'm going to mention. And when I mention the oils, there's no hormones in them whatsoever. Um, it's just, uh, like when we talk about some of these things like phytoestrogens, but it's, it's things that can obviously support and balance your hormones. So the first one that I have to kick it off with is the most, like the, 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 the top dog, um, female support really, I can't recommend it enough. And most everyone I know that deals with some sort of hormone imbalance, I tell them to try this one first. Um, this is your progestins plus serum. So in a nutshell, if you deal with monthly migraines, wonky cycles, if you have low energy, if you have menstrual fatigue, this is actually even good for um, 
uh, menopause, progestins plus might be a good fit for you. Raise your virtual hand or put it in the chat or something. If you love this serum, if this is something you use and you can attest uh, to that and share a testimony, I'm so bummed. I really wanted um, my friend Missy to jump on tonight, but she was actually teaching a class at the exact same time. And oh gosh, I meant to have her um, testimony pulled up, but she basically, her progestins plus this one thing. Um, let me see if I can find it changed everything for her. She said, and this is like what she, her, her main testimony that she shares with people. She said, progestins plus is the reason I began like my young living journey and, um, how she even started like sharing young living professionally. She said 33 years, she had 33 years of infertility treatment and never once ovulated pro plus did it in two applications. What meds could never do her testimony is insane. I wish she could just jump on, but at least she sent me that to share with you guys tonight. So, okay. A little bit about this. And I feel like I'm going to talk the most about this and try to fly through everything else. But, um, this is an all natural USP grade, super micronized progesterone from wild yam. That's funny. I ate that for dinner, um, which is melted in vitamin E and essential oils for optimal absorption. Studies indicate that limonene from frankincense and bergamot and menthol from peppermint oil can enhance substance penetration through the skin. So it's that is everything that I just named is the blend. That is it. It's wild yams. That's the, where the progesterone is coming from. Vitamin E and then essential oils, bergamot, frankincense, um, peppermint. It is... Um, it allows women to have a natural balance the way that your body is intended to be. So it's to bring your body back and to restore the, the, the balance that's supposed to be there. So this was specifically formula, formulated by two professionals, Dr. Um, Dan Purser, medical doctor, and Gary Young. And um, it was it's a very innovative delivery system. I want to say it was that, yeah, it was the first ever progesterone serum on the market. Um, it's a beautiful smell. It honestly, it's like my perfume and it does not require the typical cycling of application like a lot of progesterone supplements do. So you can use it every single day if you want. Um, there is a hormone protocol in a book that I absolutely love. I wanted to show a picture of it, but I cannot find it on the internet right now. I don't know what, I don't know if they're redoing it, but it's called Taming the Dragon Within. And it's written by husband and wife, Dr. Deardiff medical doctors all about using young living to balance female hormones. And they have this protocol where you use progestins plus, well, let me back up. They use clary sage in the first part of the cycle. And then they use progestins plus in the second half of your cycle and then dragon time during your cycle. So a couple of things about, I just wrote down some of Dr. Purser's suggested uses for progestins plus. He says that it's not necessary to use it according to your cycle. So daily use is fine, but you can do it the way I just mentioned. So the way that I personally use it, I'm not having a cycle right now as I'm fully breastfeeding, but day one of your cycle is the first day that you bleed, right? So day 14, which should be halfway through, that's when you would start your progestins plus halfway through your cycle until it restarts again, until your period starts again. Um, the best way to use it is to apply it to clean, dry skin, like after a bath or a shower. Um, as oils build up on the skin during the day, they'll be better absorbed on your skin when it's clean and warm. A lot of people uh, recommend it at nighttime before bed because it does have the progesterone can give you a sleepy effect. I don't know if that's something I've ever noticed, but now that it's brought awareness like to my attention, now I do use it at night. But in the past, I just kind of worn it whenever throughout the day. Um, once you're feeling better, you can adjust the amount used, but you can actually use it every single hour until your symptoms are gone of whatever it is that you're, that you're trying to tackle. So whether that's a hot flash with, um, menopause or whether that's PMS symptoms that you're feeling, or maybe like that, um, hormonal migraine or something like that. So you can use it as often as desired, generally one to two drops on the neck over the carotid arteries, temples, jaw, forearm, spine. All of those places are great. All right, next up. And like I said, if I mention something tonight that you're listening and you are a believer in, or you can testify to it and you use it, I think testimony is powerful. So feel free to put that in the chat so we can learn from each other. Okay, I should mention this too about progestins plus that it is for women only, and it can be used by all menstruating females over the age of 12. And um, some people need more than others. 
So I believe on Dr. Purser's frequently asked questions, he would say that um, if you were trying to like get equivalent to a prescription progesterone, which is really strong strength, that would equal 36 drops of progestins plus. So it's very gentle. I still tell people to read the label and follow. So it might recommend that you start with two drops a day, two to four, I think is what it says. But if you need more, just know how gentle it is. 36 drops would equate like a prescription strength progesterone. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Cortistop. Cortistop is amazing. It's a proprietary dietary supplement designed to help the body maintain um, really harmony and natural balance because it's tackling stress, the stress hormone. When your body's under stress, your body produces cortisol. Now cortisol, it can be a good thing when it's, um, you know, not a every single day, not a part of every single day, but when it's produced too frequently, it starts to have negative health consequences, um, such as fatigue, uh, having trouble maintaining weight, difficulty maintaining um, optimal health of your cardiovascular system and your heart. So Cortisop is actually a, a product that you cycle. Let me see what, how often it says. Um, this I hear so many testimonies from. Here you go right here. Suggested uses. Take two capsules in the morning before breakfast. If desired for extra benefits, take another two before bed. Use it for eight weeks and then discontinue for two to four weeks before resuming again. And the reason you want to do that is because you don't want your body to stop making cortisol, right? Like it, it is, it is a good hormone, um, but too much of it is where it wreaks havoc on the body. So if you're under a lot of stress and you know, you are, and you know that that's causing health problems, fatigue and waking and all these things then use it, but just use it for, like it says, eight weeks, stop for two, let your body kind of recoup and then pick it back up again. I hear so many testimonies about cortisol. If anybody here um, uses it, I'd love to hear from you. Femogen. And y'all, I'm not even naming all of the ones. There are so many supplements and so many options out there. I was trying to, to pick the top ones that um, really, I think, can support the most people. Femogen. These capsules were formulated with herbs and amino acids, um, again, designed to balance and support the, the female reproductive system from youth all the way to menopause. So another one that's great for so many ages. It combines whole food herbs like wild yam, damania, don quoy, along with synergistic amino acids and a bunch of essential oils. Um, so this is a great one for women of all ages. Um, it's a natural phytoestrogen supplement because of the Don Khoi, it also has black cohosh amino acids. Um, so it, again, it doesn't contain um, estrogen. It's a phytoestrogen. It helps your body mimic, it mimics estrogen in your body. And then your body can respond to that. So it's really great if you know um, that you need estrogen support. Uh, let's see some of the other ingredients in there. So um, traditionally black cohosh, if y'all have heard of that, it, the benefits have included decreasing cortisol levels as well, um, which we just talked about that supports healthy endocrine system. Um, it is used in Europe as a natural alternative to promote balance. Blue cohosh traditionally has been used to uplift the attitude during PMS. And so if PMS is something you deal with, PMS is one of those things. It's like, sure, it's common. You know, you hear about it a lot, but it's not normal. It's actually a sign of hormonal imbalance. And so if you have that, like four days before your cycle starts, kind of like, I feel like I could cry at any moment. I feel like I have some anger things going on. Like you feel ragey from your hormones, then Femogen might be a good option for you. Um, really great ingredients in that one. All right. PD8020. Another very cool one. So this is 80 parts uh, pregnenolone, 20 parts DHEA. So this is another dietary supplement um, formulated to help maximize internal health and the support of your endocrine system overall. It contains the two I mentioned, pregnenolone and DHEA, which are two substances that are produced naturally by the, the body that just decline with age. So pregnenolone is the key precursor for your body's production of so many hormones, estrogen, DHEA, and progesterone. Um, it also has an impact on memory and mental acuity. So if you're feeling that as you age, the brain fog, um, feeling like you need 
to supplement with that pregnenolone, then this is a really great option for you. DHEA is involved in maintaining the health of your immune system and your cardiovascular system. All right, next one. And now I'm gonna jump into just a couple of oils. I thought I pulled up thyromin. Maybe I forgot to do that because that one's important. Let me see. Let's just pull it up right now. All right. Thyromin. <clears throat> I didn't talk about this yet, did I? No. Okay, so this is one specifically formulated for your thyroid. Um, it is made of bovine glandular, glandular extracts, which I appreciate. It used to be made of uh, pork, like a pig, and now it's beef. But bovine extracts, herbs, amino acids, minerals, and oils specifically formulated to support your thyroid. The thyroid gland, as you know, it's important for so many body functions. It regulates your body metabolism, your energy, your body temperature. Um, if you know that you need thyroid support, this is one of the healthiest, most natural ones on the market that I know of. Bring it to your doctor. If, you have, if you've gotten blood work and you know this is something you need, show this to them. I feel like they're always impressed that this, this is, exists. It's so clean. Um, it has vitamin E. It has iodine um, from kelp, source from kelp. It has potassium. So it's got all these great things that help your body actually absorb um, the bovine. And if you suffer with any autoimmune um, issues, consider adding selenium to balance out the iodine. Um a great source of this is just Brazil nuts. I think your daily dose is like three Brazil nuts a day or something like that. Okay, now let's switch over to a couple of oils. <clears throat> I feel like I'm talking so fast, but there's just so much I wanna cover. Okay, Indoflex, I love this smell. I actually just got a Zytoskin done yesterday and like forget how many of my biomarkers were out of range, but like almost all of them said that they'd be cleared up with Indoflex. So I love that. It's like takes the guessing game out. I usually use Indoflex every day. And so this is one that I've gotten out of the habit of. And now I'm just reminded, okay, the best way I use Indoflex personally is I pop a little roller top on the lid. Like I take the plastic orifice off, put a roller ball, and I just roll it all over my thyroid, my neck. Another way you can do it, they it comes with the Vitality label. You could put it in your Ningxia Red. You can drink it and take it internally. It does taste good. It's spearmint. It's geranium. It's a few different oils that I think, you know, don't taste terrible. Um, but this is obviously going to support overall your, your endocrine system, but definitely um, your thyroid, your energy levels. Um, it's going to affect so many different things from um, your metabolism, uh, sexual function, reproduction, sleep, mood. This also supports the pineal gland and the pituitary glands and your adrenal glands. So the way, other ways you can use it, you can apply it topically over your kidney area and your liver or over your thyroid or just on the bottom of your feet. Or like I said, as a dietary supplement in a capsule or in Ningxia Red. All right, Clary Sage. This is um, my birth oil. It just smells like birth to me, but like in a good way. It's a very earthy smell, but I always use this at birth. So it just brings me back there. But Clary Sage is a girl's best friend. It has been used forever and ever um, historically for hormonal issues. Um, this single oil is also in dragon time, which I'll talk about next. Um, when your cycle starts, this is the time to use it because that's when your estrogen levels tend to, to drop drastically and everything is harder when your estrogen is low. And so using Clary Sage is a great way. It's a phytoestrogen to help support and maintain that healthy balance. Um, estrogen is highest when we're fertile, um, which is when we're most in the mood. That's just how we're made. And as our estrogen levels drop, um, things can dry up and make things not so pleasant. And so dryness is a sign of low estrogen. So a simple way to use this is applying it to your inner thigh or below your navel. Um, it can actually, it's known to increase natural lubrication. I know this is not an oils of the bedroom class, but I just feel like that is good to know. Um, you can also apply a drop to your wrists and, uh, your wrist, if you like the way it smells, if it's a little too, um, herby for you add a drop of joy. And it's like this most luxurious perfume. It smells amazing. All right. Next one is dragon time. I love the name of this. <laughs> 
So this is designed to um, really invite the positive emotions for hormonal issues for that time of the month when you're feeling a little fiery. Um, it's recommended actually for both young and mature women. So anyone can use it. Um, so many ways you can use this one. You can diffuse it. You can just directly inhale it. You can um, use V6, which is Young Living's carrier oil or really any carrier oil and apply it topically. Um, postpartum, this is wonderful for those postpartum cramps. I just apply it like right on the belly for the uterus. Um, Dragon Time is a hormone balancing oil that was developed literally for that time of the month, hence the name. Um, a lot of the blends and a lot of the oils in this blend help ease cramped muscles, improve the mood and calm the mind. So it's great for if you are feeling crampy during, during your cycle too. All right. Did I pull up Lady Sclare, y'all? This is my mother's favorite. This is what she wears as perfume. And it does have a very amazing smell to it. Um, this is a blend created specifically for women to enhance the feminine nature, to provide a relaxing experience. It's very grounding and calming. Um, I love just diffusing this one, but also you can wear this as perfume or inhale, you know, directly. Um, this is basically used when you need to improve your mood, um, specifically for hormonal support. Um, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like this is also, I don't know. So the way that it smells, it smells amazing. Men can also use this one as well. Next week we're, we are covering, um, hormone support for men. And there are specific products that are just for men, but there's a lot that we're going to talk about that are going to be for both male and female. I excluded the majority of those tonight, just because there's a lot more specific for females that I wanted to cover tonight. Okay. I think my last one is fluorescence, another beautiful blend. Um, I tend to use this just when I run out of clary sage, but it does smell better than clary sage. It has clary sage in it. It also has peppermint and fennel and Spanish sage, which also comes with their own benefits. Um, fennel is another one. I didn't talk about it tonight, but another one that's also really great for female hormones, um, and for breast milk production as well. So this one, um, fluorescence. I thought that I wrote down. Um, this is also, you can see the vitality label. So it is ingestible. Um, it can be used as a dietary supplement, um, to support hormone balance in the reproductive system. So I'm just giving some options out there. Some are cheaper than others. You can see like this one is, um, with a wholesale discount is only $16. Um, some of them are going to be stronger than others and they're all, they're all useful for, for different purposes. Um, I also wanted, before I sign off, I wanted to, I'll take a moment to answer any questions, but wanted to point this out. Dr. Purser, I got to hear him speak at convention this year. He's brilliant. He is a, um, he's a unique doctor, medical doctor, because he, like you can see it right here on his website, it says he takes pride finding the root cause. He is one of the world's leading hormone health experts, and he's the one who helped create Progestins Plus with Gary Young. But he spoke at convention on a lot of the ones that I just mentioned. And if you feel like you're in that category of like, I need hormone help, I need direction. Um, he knows Young Living. He loves Young Living. He is someone that you can work with virtually. So you don't have to live. I think he lives in Utah. You don't have to, you can, you can schedule an appointment online. So anyway, I just wanted to pull up his website just so you could see that. Um, if you were using any of these things that I just mentioned and told him, um, he would know what they are. He's familiar with them and he could work them into like a protocol for you. So, okay. Any questions? I know that was, I know that was a lot. Um, it wasn't three hours worth, but it was a, it was a lot for 20 minutes. So I, let's see, how do you use Clary Sage during birth? Okay. So in January, um, I did a class just on oils for labor. You can find it. Let me see if since I'm screen sharing, I'll show you how easy it is to find. But if you go just search YouTube, Apex Living, you can find it. But the way that I use Clary Sage in birth, a few ways. I diffuse it, usually with a couple other different oils. Um, I rub, rub it on the mom's lower back or on her ankles and the bottom of her feet. So you can see right here, I just like went right to my YouTube channel and you can see that second video right there, oils for labor. There you go. Deborah just said, I was told, just told by my OBGYN that I need progesterone. 
yes, start with progestins plus I would even show it to your OB. And, um, I feel like a lot of, a lot of them don't even know that this product exists. And it's good to know that there is a natural, not synthetic progesterone option out there that works really well. All right. Anybody else have a question? Did I miss anything? If not, just want to say thank you so much for coming tonight. If you are not yet an oil user and you're just coming here to learn, maybe you're desperate for some hormonal support. Um, I did throw together a couple of text classes. Of course, get with the person who invited you, um, ask them how to get your hands on the oils and they'll help you. But check this out. This is just an example of like one of the text classes I put together. So I don't recommend texting all these code words at once. Just do one at a time or you're going to get a million jumbled texts. Just do, do one at a time when it ends, do the other. So this is how this works. This is the number. You're going to text any of these code words to this number and I'll send you in return. It's automated. Like we already wrote them out. Um, text classes just for further learning. Cause I know this can, I can only cover so much in 20 minutes. So if you're interested in more like libido type of information, then your code word is, um, Lucy. If you're looking and kind of romance too falls in that category, that's a whole separate class. Um, if you want more information on just progestins plus, we have a text class just for that text pro plus now. Um, if you're looking for more vaginal health text ladies, and then the endocrine product recommendations. Okay. So the way that I worked that, this is great if you have gotten any like baseline, like if you've gotten blood work done or saliva work and you know that you know that your adrenals are shot and you need adrenal support or you know that you need pituitary support. I very specifically put together some product recommendations. So if you text hormones to that number, you'll get a text back with a link and then it's going to ask you to be specific. And I've put together, I even put together fertility recommendations, all that stuff. So this is for you. This is for you to share. I hope that helps. Um, but yeah, if anybody has questions, that's also my number right there. That's my business number. You can always shoot me a question. So, all right, y'all, my sweet sister. I know I was so excited that it's made from beef, beef too. It's so great. All right, y'all have a great night. Thanks for coming. And we will have this recording up tomorrow and we'll text it out to all of you who have opted in for that. So um, we'll see you next week for male hormones. <laughs> Bye y'all.